You kind of left us hanging yesterday. You had the beginning of the Reformation, really what happened, the 95 complaints by Martin Luther. Uh, now what happens? Okay, so what you have to realize is you have church and government like are totally linked yeah. in back then in 1517. Mm. And so um, a secular court then is called to try to get Martin Luther to back down. And he makes his famous statement, it's even on socks out there in Germany, here I stand, I can do no other. Gave it to my prof at Mac. Um, <laughs> the, the, and, and Charles V is uh, overseeing this, this king. And what happens is a kind of a warring earl comes along and abducts Martin Luther at night, like bags him wow. off the horse, hauls him off. Frederick III takes him here to Wartburg Castle, toured this amazing castle. Uh, now this is 1521. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's all it all takes a little time. It's yeah, not like social media out. fast. Yeah, yeah. And in the months that he is abducted here in Wartburg Castle, under his benefactor, always takes a donor to help <laughs> the Christian work. Um, he stays there and he translates the New Testament from Greek into German, which in 1522 makes it accessible to everyone. Mm -hmm. And so there in Wittenberg, Germany, I caught up with an old friend of Crossroads, Dr. Roland Werner, a German theologian who worked with David Maines on the Pavilion of Hope in Germany. And now uh, this summer, Roland Werner, this past summer, had hosted about 25,000 people going through and seeing what people went through to have a Bible. So he worked with the Museum of the Bible to uh, set up this display. Listen here to Roland Werner in Wittenberg. For me, it was important to place the Bible here in this Reformation exhibit as part of the, all that people can look at here in Wittenberg because Sola Scriptura, the Bible alone, was one of the um, main principles of the Reformation with sola gratia, grace alone, sola fide, solus Christus, faith alone, Christ alone. So just to feature the Bible and we see that people, also people of no faith or maybe with lots of doubts, uncertainties, they still can relate to the Bible, uh, just see you know, how valuable it was to other people in past times and how creatively people dealt with the Bible, produced wonderful uh, exquisite Bibles, painted Bibles, and so forth. So um, it was important for me uh, because I, uh, I think that the Bible is sort of like a common ground still nowadays for Jews and Christians, for Catholics, Protestants, Orthodox, Orientals, free church people, for all of us. It is part of our culture, especially Western culture, but not only Western culture, also Asian, African, and so forth. Yeah, so this is some of the B-roll that is, um, you know, sorry, just shot off my iPhone, so it's a little rough, but these are the Bibles that were collected there. And all over um, North America, you can see these Reformation displays. We've got a great one at the University of Toronto, Washington, D.C.'s The Bible Museum opens. Just another reminder not to take our Bibles mm. and how they were formed for granted. And I love how he talks about the solas, because this is something new that I didn't know, and I'm learning from you, uh, Lorna, as we go along. And Robbie, he's teaching us. And Robbie yeah. as well. Yeah. Sola Scriptura, Sola Fida, Sola Gra Gratia. Can we go through some of these quickly? Yeah, and uh, Christ alone, uh, to the glory of God alone, and that beautiful one we remember today, Scripture alone, yes. so that the Word of God is the ultimate authority. It's not the only place there's truth, mm. but everything you experience and think about should go through the lens of the truth of the Bible. You know, there's just been so much cost that has been paid. You know, I think of people like William Tyndale to get us the English Bible that we take for granted. He took Luther's translation and it became what we all now use from it's Tyndale. An, it's amazing and that's why Lost we teach. Life. Yeah, he did and, and that's why, uh, you know, we do this program every day so people can hear the Bible and it's, it is the truth, it's the Word of God and, uh, you know, we thank you for your support of this ministry. Thank you, Lorna, for that and we look forward to seeing you next time on 100 Huntley Street. Bye. Bye then. Thank you.